I'm Barbara Gray, and here's an idea. Duck hunt, but it's called Dilf Hunt, and it's just me drinking at the Whole Foods in Pasadena. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brandy Posey, and if I want to diet when the bomb drops, I'm going to be so pissed. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm Tess Barker, and a handful of almonds can be very satisfying if you're the type of person who gets off by dry humping in a spacesuit. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lady to Lady. Can you keep a secret? Neither can we. <laughs> we can. Barbara Brandy. We got a show for everyone that's the fucking best. Come on, baby. It's time to hang out with your favorite ladies. Ladies and ladies, ladies and ladies. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Lady to lady to lady to lady to lady. One lady. What shows do we have coming up? When is this coming out? I don't know. Uh, June 14th. June 14th. Great. Uh, I've got a picture of this this coming weekend, uh, Saturday night, June 17th, uh, 7.30 doors, 8 p.m. show at the Virgil Free. Ooh. You should be there. And then we're all doing Babs' show, Sauce. Yeah, come see us at Sauce on the 23rd. Mm-hmm. Um, wait, this doesn't come out the 17th. This comes out the 14th. Comes out, yeah, it comes out the 14th. Oh, sorry. Show My show's I I don't know what's we going on. We don't know how time works. <laughs> okay. Um, come see, so, it, yeah, come see my show Sauce every Friday, all female lineups all month, and Tess and Brandy will be on the 23rd one. It's going to be a really good show. Come, come check us out. hang out. We'll bring some pizza pins. Why yeah, not? you, can, you can go to yeah. Sauce Comedy on Twitter. Eat to... some pizza, get a pizza pin. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, we'll bring some pizza pins. We're very on brand. But, yes, very <laughs> much so. We're so on brand. It's so exciting. I know, but, like, I seriously do love pizza and donuts. I don't yeah. know what to say. They're great. I'm sorry Everyone does. I know. Sometimes things are perfect and exactly. everybody loves them. Exactly. Yeah, fine. that's fine. Exactly. Yeah, it's great. And that's how it should be. Yeah. Um, guys, our guest today is my co-creator and the producer of Picture This, Sam Varela. Hi. Hi. What's up? Yeah. We're having some good DILF talk before the podcast started. Yeah, <laughs> man. So, Babsy, you were DILF cruising at the Pasadena Whole Foods, huh? I mean, a little bit. There wasn't that much going on. I think yeah. I went in an off, off-peak off DILF, DILF time. Did What's you go there to time? drink? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you went to Whole Foods to drink? I went to the Whole Foods of Pasadena because I was very stressed out, and uh-huh. I like I just wanted to like I ne- wanted to drive for a minute, okay. you know. So yeah. I just like drove, and then I was like, "Well, I'm just gonna go here." And that makes sense. I'm glad here. you did it in that order. I thought you were. Gonna they say have a the bar there. Order. Oh, they have a bar there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I was like, so a I didn't just wine. crack open a bottle of <laughs> wine in the aisle. <laughs> you got one of those like uh, <laughs> you got food from the buffet that was more expensive than it should have been. <laughs> right, you got a right. bottle of wine. And you just went out to a cu- to a table outside. I mean, <laughs> it was like pretty close, day. except for I got sushi from from the thing, <laughs> yeah. and then I went into the bar and I ate it there. Okay. All right, <laughs> fair enough. At least it was a bar. Was it soothing? <laughs> was it a good? It was. It was all right. Uh, I like I said, I was really just like kind of like. On a DILF hunt, but it wasn't, there was I, not really I any there. you dating, like, the guy that, like, does the art for the prices at Whole Foods. <laughs> you know the chalk I mean? artist? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, chalk artist. I'm I can see He's a, an artist. Yeah. <laughs> this is my chalk artist boyfriend. Do you think the one <laughs> that works at Trader Joe's, like, couldn't get a job at Whole Foods? Probably yeah. Probably the other yeah. way around. Because sometimes I feel like Trader Joe's gets more fun with it. That yeah. takes more creativity. Right. Which one's the hotter job to get? Ooh. The chalk artist at Whole Foods? I mean, Whole Foods has to pay more. I cannot well, believe I how know. much. We would think they would, but I don't know. If you're a hot yeah. chalk artist, yeah, tweet they probably pay less. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're hot, hashtag hot chalk artist. Because doesn't um, it seem like the Trader Joe's guys are always really happy? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe they're getting paid more. Yeah. I don't, the, it's just insane though. Whole Foods, like, I don't, sh- I don't ever shop there, like, maybe once in a blue moon. And it's like, their prices are insane. I, I just know. do not I understand know. how anyone affords that. That's I, why I was trying to dill yeah. hunt there because I was like, well, you have money. You need yeah. a whole you know? daddy. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And it's such a fucking tease because once you start buying the cactus jerky, then you want the hemp. <laughs> <Like, Yeah. laughs> you start convincing yourself it's worth it. Yeah. So starting salary at Whole Foods is starts at 11 dollars an hour and the average is eighteen eighty nine per person. Mm-hmm. That's pretty at good. Trader Joe's, the average minimum starts at thirteen twenty nine ah. and you get free dental and vision. Of course. Oh, they're better. Better. So Trader Joe's is probably the, I don't know what like the average is that's what starting is though. But I just I would rather work at a Trader Joe's I think. 
Or whatever. Fun. This doesn't don't. explain the Trader Joe's guy who I met on Tinder who had like a thousand teeth. Oh. A thousand? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> What? Was, it just, <laughs> was it a shark? Was it a shark? Was he hired for a smile? He has too much yeah. insurance. He's was it getting st- new teeth? It was a street shark. It was just like one of those things where there was like extra ones coming it's out like, of weird places. Oh, like, like, wasn't it like the yeah. 80s where like people were like, you should get your teeth taken out because dentures are the future. Yeah. So a guy just got was the that dentures. A thing? Yeah, that yeah. was like it started because that's why the whole London bad teeth thing because they just had, didn't know how to do dentistry and they're like, we'll just take them out and give you dentist teeth like dentures or whatever. Wow. Yeah. But maybe this guy just bought the dentures and I was like, I don't want to. Take them out, and it was just no. Th- I mean, they were like fucked up. So that's why I'm saying, like, where was this? Where was this dent? Yeah, I know he's yeah. worked there for a while. That's what the people they get. What are the when you get the teeth? The, flipper? No, 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 not the flippers. The, no, no, no. There's like new ones now. You get you get new teeth in your mouth. They're not dentures, but it used oh, veneers? to be veneers. Yeah, it used to oh, be they veneers? would. Sh- Honey, I'm getting veneers the second I can afford it. <laughs> here's, here's the thing. It used to be that you had to shave your teeth down to put yeah, them in. Yeah. And now you don't have to you anymore. Pop them My dad yeah. has veneers. They look amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm for sure. Yeah. I'm doing the shit out you of You can drink yeah. as much coffee as you want and sparkling white. Yeah. But you take them off or they just don't no, get... They're no, they're permanent. permanent. They're just permanent. permanent. They're expensive. Right. They're really expensive. They, yeah, yeah. They've always been trying to sell me on them because I have that little space. Oh, I like that, though. Fine. That's, That's cute. The Bachelorette yeah. has a space. I know. I saw, I, this is the first season I've ever watched Bachelorette. Yeah. I just felt like I was so mad that they took all the good producers from VH1 that I like boycotted it. But now I'm just like, why not? Why stuffer? Oh wow! I like. didn't think about that aspect of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Teeth. <laughs> teeth talk, huh, guys? <laughs> Pretty exciting around here. You get a, would you Would you date a dentist? I mean, it depends on the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I wouldn't. That, I think I'm, a dentist could be a catch because you're getting like all the perks of the what, doctor. You just don't like their hands being in other people's mouths. Well, no, they like <laughs> dentists. Like the issues. I think they like. Kill them, kill themselves more than any other yeah. medical profession. Yeah, they're very. Like, yeah. My dentist is like super. He never <laughs> seems stressed out. I also <laughs> resent. They don't seem like that. I also <laughs> resent that like a hygienist does all of the work, and then the dentist comes in at mm-hmm. the end and he just like pokes his mouth, <laughs> yeah. and then he and then his name Have is on the door. Have you been up here to the dentist? He's good. No. Is he good? <laughs> they're brothers. Is they're he great. there the whole time? Or does he put it he's all off on the hygienist? No, he's pretty interactive. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me just shout out to the last guy who did dental work on me where they used my chest as a tray. Oh, uh. And I still haven't paid that bill, so go fuck yourself. Yeah. 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 No, you paid that bill. Yeah, I paid that bill. <laughs> yeah, you definitely That was did. like the dentist I got when I was in New York. New York health insurance sucks. And it was in the basement of his home. Everything looked like it was not been Whoa. upgraded since Ew. like the 80s. Yeah. And literally he brushed my teeth. And I was like, I haven't been to the dentist in like a year. Like, can you? And he like... No, you're fine. And it's just like they, uh, they were going to give me x-rays, but then they were putting the heaviest lead jacket on me and it just was like old plates. And I was like, I don't think it's a safe x-ray machine. Jeez. Yeah, Whoa. it's creepy and when it you go like into those ones and they all, yeah. they're all, everything looks like it's from like the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. See, this is why I only go like once every two years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's exactly. better than most people. A lot of people never go. I know. It's it's really I think for me, it's a financial thing. I just never feel like spending money on that. Yeah, yeah of course. It's infuriating that it's not included in regular health insurance. Yeah, yeah. my Why? face is my mouth. Exactly. Yeah. And and I mean, my, I, and, de- my and my vision. Mouth. My yeah. face is my mouth. <laughs> my face is my mouth. <laughs> like half of your face is not covered by health insurance. Yeah, there's three insurances for like the face, but like no one understands the back. Like medicine is weird. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's true. It's like we don't know anything. About Speaking anything. of your face <laughs> and your mouth. Smash mouth. Oh, Smash yeah. mouth. What a great. <laughs> so as soon as this recording is over, uh, well, in a little bit after that, Barbara, Barbara and I are going to go down to see Smash Mouth. Going down to Long Beach to the Queen Mary to see Smash Mouth, uh, <laughs> which I just found I was happening, but I'm excited. I definitely wrote to them and was like, I'm one of the hosts of a popular podcast. <laughs> You've got to use these perks where you can get them. Yeah, I was like, uh, I'm because I'm not going to pay to see Smash Mouth. No. I've put in the work. Mm-hmm. I've talked about Smash Mouth for a very long time. Yes. I legitimately like their first album. I still remember all of the words to one of their B-side songs. Wow. I, I you got to request it. Yell out a request. Pet tonight. names. Play pet names. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great song. It's a legitimately great song. <laughs> and I, uh, yeah, I'm not going to pay to see them, though. It's just yes. not going to happen. Speaking about requests, have I yeah. told you guys about what Garth Brooks does? No. If you guys, this is for listeners, everyone, if you go see Garth Brooks and you have a request, bring it because he will fucking play it. You just got to write it on a piece of poster board. Oh, and yeah. Did you end, say uh, he just plays like he all plays of them? for like five hours. He'll uh, play everything. Hold up a sign and he'll play it. A deep cut, whatever. Wow. I mean, there's no yeah. way. The, the thing with Smash Mouth is there's no, there's like two original members of the band. So the rest of them would be like, what the fuck is that song? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But of your first album, that's what I'm interested in. The old <laughs> shit. Come yeah. on, man. Do you have a new album? <laughs> I, I kind of fell off the smash train a while ago. Yeah. I know when I saw them, they were just playing the hits. Yeah, yeah there's no, yeah. it's just going to be walking on the sun, 
Uh, and the, can't, the sun. can't get enough of you baby uh, uh oh, yeah. the, the monkey one, song yeah the one from the shrek soundtrack yeah right all star uh, all star is well, that the shrek one yeah no 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 no, he, no they have a yeah i'm, I'm a believer, believer. i'm a believer one. cover oh, okay um oh god man, that's they're on for an hour that's almost <laughs> that's half an hour yeah. they yeah. do a lot of banter in between too oh also they oh. do have a christmas album that's hilarious. oh yeah <laughs> maybe oh christmas god. in june yeah it's they have they have one song that's called zat you santa claus <laughs> With a Z, <laughs> and it's so bad. Oh, what is your story with so that? Funny. Oh yeah, I was telling Brandy uh, when I was in Brooklyn, they had this like '90s fest thing that was like not just Smash Brothers. Like, is a whole like we're just gonna do flashback. Like, we're gonna have Nicktoons. We're uh-huh. gonna have. I think um, Lisa Loeb was on it. Like, just a bunch of like '90s stuff. Hey, remember this? Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> and uh, the day of the festival, it was like outside, and it was like pouring rain, like mm-hmm. an intense storm. And by the time Smash Mouth went on, like it was literally flooded like me and my friend oh my they gave all of us ponchos and me and my friend found like a tiny raised part of the floor to stand everybody else is like under shit but i was like i want to live in the rain yes and there was <laughs> just a neon sign with smash mouth like glowing in the rain yes. and i was just like this is why i was meant to come here fuck yes i want all of that <laughs> and then they and they did the whole thing where they were like we're not gonna be able to play guys we're sorry and then and then they triumphantly came out in the Hell middle yes. of the storm like yeah oh. rock can't stop <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i just love the idea of being on a haunted boat with smash mouth it's <laughs> like, gonna be so fun I, I i'm excited i've never been to the queen mary yeah, so i'm interested to see what that's about yeah. maybe uh, maybe me- they'll make the i'm believer a little spooky yeah exactly <laughs> i'm a believer <laughs> when i first ran the uh the first marathon i ran was the long beach marathon mm-hmm. and i like got the hotel like way too late so sean and i stayed in this like seedy ass hotel <laughs> that actually our bed had a mirror on the ceiling oh my God. God. you bet we used it because you have to <laughs> Is do you use it hot? to do makeup? I mean, if you're in the... Like, you're not going to not. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, is it hot, though? Like, I don't know if I want to see, see that. Yeah, do you want to see I Also, like, ha- I, I guess... I, I don't feel like there's a lot of good angles to, like, yeah. see anything. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, it was a very seedy hotel. So we were, like, leaving for dinner the night before, and this lady was like, yeah, there's... The, we, this, like, kind of, like, cracked out lady was in the parking lot. She's like, there's a lot of people in town this weekend. And I was like, yeah, well, it's the marathon. And she was like, nope. I think it's for the haunted house. I was like, do you, do you seriously think that the haunted house is drawing a big enough crowd that the hotel's like, uh, everyone's like, we got a, like a three night, three night stay. See ourselves fucking the mirror first and then go, and, there, and nothing turns me on like getting spooked. You know? Was it a spooky mirror? Yeah. Yeah, it was a, <laughs> a ghost appeared behind you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm excited. We'll see. I like I said, I did that thing like a few years ago where with the creep with Smash Mouth lyrics and like I need an end to this bit. So I'm like, yeah. man, if something happens, Babs is out there seeking bits. Yeah, yeah. seeking bits, seeking butts. We'll Desperate, see. Desperately seeking bits. Desperately seeking. Bits. <laughs> Maybe you'll see that all star guy from YouTube. You know that guy? Oh yeah, yeah. the guy that does all those songs. What if you with put, those lyrics? Oh, what if you Disney? posted a, mix, a misconnection for like the end of a joke? And we're like, misconnection. <laughs> someone somebody, write this. I've been too lazy to figure out the end of this. Someone else write it. Somebody else. I need to do that with all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just get some get some real real sweet Craigslist jokes. Misconnections are where it's at, you guys. It's, uh... <laughs> Is it still active? Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, let's let's check it out. <laughs> it's... I feel like everyone would have moved to like an app or something. No, but we were saying there is no apps like that. Like there's not like you really feel like you had. Do you guys have you guys ever had a misconnection? I feel like I. I, It's been a long time. Like yes, but I think I feel like I've had one. I think for me they've all been in New York on the subway. Yeah, Mm -hmm. you're just not social enough here. You're not. You're more apt to meet somebody that you would spend with your life with, but then walk away from. (laughs) Yes. Remember when I, when I was a kid, well, like high school, there was, we'd always go to Ocean City, Maryland every summer. And there was this guy that was like, probably like four years older than me. So he was like, in co- he was like a freshman when I was a freshman. And he like did henna tattoos on the boardwalk every year. And he, but he was like, had really good sideburns and like dressed like a punk guy. And like everyone else in the boardwalk is just like fucking basic beach. Right. And like, he was so hot and beautiful and like was an art student. And he just like would oh, do yeah. tattoos to make money for his community college every Aww. year. And he was like, we, he thought it was so fucking funny because I would come every year and just fuck with him and make fun of all of his henna tattoos. Right. <laughs> like, and I, I always got one every year. It was this tooth. 
that was holding these two like dental instruments. And I, and I was like, who the fuck gets this? Why would anybody get this? And I would always make him put it on like my arm as if it was a hardcore tattoo. And it said, live to brush, brush to live around it. Yes. <laughs> like made him really like give the, the tooth eyeliner and everything. Yes. And then he was there for like five summers and then he never came back. So and that's your misconnection. Hannah Steve. The one that got away. Yeah. Hannah Steve. Hannah that's Steve. the good one that got away. Yeah. Hannah Steve was beautiful. Oh. Probably had a band that didn't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's one. Simply Wholesome Restaurant Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Simply Wholesome. Is that the name of the restaurant? No. I don't know. <laughs> restaurant Woman working on laptop. 6 2 17, 9 p.m. Man for Woman. L.A. on Slauson. Hello. I noticed you working on your laptop eating what, what looked like kale chips. <laughs> Capitalized kale chips. You were sitting alone, and I found you to be very beautiful. Please say hi. <laughs> who? It could be anyone. Who's gonna see that? <laughs> who, this, this, Give oh some deets. Boy. This woman. I Give mean, me something else. There's, that's not a connection. That's you no. were creeping on this woman because this woman was probably in between things. Thought she'd stop in for some caffeine and kale chips. Yeah. And I mean, that's fine if he just like he thought he was pretty. She was that's pretty. fine, but you're not. To me, a misconnection. It has to be like oh, we you both have, saw yeah, something. Right. Yeah, otherwise, she's not going to be checking Craigslist. Yeah, I kind of feel like that yeah. one isn't real. Like he was just like, I would love a woman that like it has a laptop and eats. Right. Yeah. He's like, this is. I mean, guys do that. There, I've talked about this before, but there are guys on here. You'll see repeats where the guys like, you were pregnant at the mall, and I loved your feet. And it's obviously <laughs> a guy just hoping a random pregnant woman like reads up. Uh, okay, last night in Echo Park. Let's see how this one is. Yeah. I bet this is like. The truth is that I was happy to see you. I'm happy we're finally friends after each... Oh, God. This is like a really serious <laughs> That's one. Not a I'm happy that we're finally friends after knowing each other for 10 years. I always thought you were trying to be cool, but now I wonder if you were just keeping your distance because you knew we'd be so attracted to each other. <laughs> Last night, I wanted so badly to just take you home and see what all this chemistry and tension reveals, but the timing is so bad. You need to get your life together, recover, and reclaim your independence. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I was happy seeing you feel free after being locked in such a bad relationship, but I have no interest in being your anchor or instant support. No, nor do I want to be part of a messy transitional relationship. Okay, this what? Is so many Why are you writing this on Craigslist? <laughs> She's not going to see this. All that said, I have to admit it was hard to say goodbye. I wish we could be friends and occasional lovers in the meantime, but for now we'll stay friends. But I loved that kiss goodnight and you looked fantastic. What? <laughs> not a misconnection if there was a kiss goodnight. Yeah. yeah. What? Why would you... He's oh, just here's blogging. A, yeah, right. It's, yeah. Oh, here. Okay, now here's a, a man for man one. Okay. Sucked you up. <laughs> <laughs> I sucked your dick really quick because your friends and Uber were waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? I randomly met you and we clicked, so we went to the park in West Hollywood. You mentioned that you were traveling from Arizona. I'd love to meet again. Reply with a picture of you if you think it's you. That's absolutely a misconnection. <laughs> we had deadhead stud. We were dancing together at the Dead & Company concert last night. I was wearing a tie-dye. Hot. <laughs> oh, shit. Was that could anyone <laughs> Literally that anybody. The only person yeah. in tie-dye. Sean, <laughs> Sean went to that Dead show. Oh, yeah? Uh, and he started this wearing Sean? his... Yeah, it might be. So, uh, <laughs> it's he, male for male, so... Oh? You know? I don't know what he's going <laughs> uh, He wore... He started wearing his, his tie-dye shirt 30 hours before the concert. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta wear it in. You can't yeah. have a fresh yeah. tie-dye. Yeah, you can't... God forbid it smells like tie Yeah. No. Or anything clean. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one. Male for woman. Mermaid Shane. It doesn't matter how far away I move my life. I cannot stop thinking about you. I still want to run to you. You're not the type of person who would look at a Craigslist posting. You're probably happy now. Finally. At least I hope you are. But my heart aches for you so badly. You were my muse. You were my passion. You're my one and only true love. The kind only written about in fairy tales and dreamt of by those who have experienced it. I was your Shakespeare. You were my mermaid. You were my heart. If only I could see you again. Oh my god. Mermaid Shane. Man, this is like... I feel like this Ooh. is what the um, we just listened to the hacky sack scene from She's All That. Yeah. I feel like this is what Freddie Prinze Jr.'s character would be posting yeah. like 30 years in. Yeah. He's just like, oh. absolutely. <laughs> All right. That's, oh, yeah. that's enough of those. Well, I do okay. always wait. I'm going to look though because I'll, I'll be like, I'll like keyword. OK, glasses and see if someone <laughs> oh, that's you just idea. posted one. of. You never know. Yeah, yeah. it's it's very possible. Anything. Have you? Have you felt any misconnections? That no, not lately. Yeah, not lately. You should put in Whole Foods Pasadena. And yeah, see what yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there's a Trader Joe's one in here. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that one's not very exciting. Yeah, no, nothing. How many people respond to those that aren't the person just trying to be like? I oh, think I am quite. I honestly think quite a 
few. Yeah. How many dick pics do you think you get from those? I mean, it's so Craigslist. Many. Yeah. Does Craigslist still straight up show dick pics? Remember when like you can no. see dicks uh, on Craigslist? I think uh, those get flagged pretty quickly. Okay. They get taken yeah. down. Yeah. Get taken yeah. down. Okay, here's the last one. Deja Vu Strip Club. Glasses. This ain't no misconnection anyways. There's some female that stripper with glasses, I think. She's got braces. She's cute <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> Uh, I wanted a lap dance from you, but you left with some white boys upstairs. And then when they were closing, I tried to get your attention to get them digits from you, but you ignored your white homegirl. <laughs> Unfortunately, because you were at fucking work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you had some, you had some cute Pokemon sweats. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if this will work, but fuck it. Don't do a strip uh, stripper oh, misconnection. It has a few levels. First of all, don't try to date a stripper. No. They are not interested in you. Mm-mm. I told, like, I've been, I've been writing a joke about this, uh, but I was like, I got stripper tricked at Magic Mike. Yeah. Like, my, they tricked <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah, they did. It, it worked. Yeah, yeah, well, obviously. But you thought they were like interested? <laughs> no, no. But like, you know what I mean? Like, I was still like, oh, I'm paying for this experience. Oh, spell paying for it. the experience yeah. is uh, casting spell is fine. It's these guys that are like, oh no, she's my girlfriend. I yeah, yeah. 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 I've showed. I think I posted it in the lady, the lady group. Um, mm-hmm. that one stripper that was like. There's he, oh, this right. guy bought her. Oh, yes. this guy bought, what's her name? She's so funny. It's like some stripper destiny or something. But yeah, yeah. This guy bought her like a laptop, all this shit, oh, yeah. and he mm-hmm. was in love with her. And then he tried to sue her for that shit back. Oh yeah, I saw like, those videos. How about. do I refund my titty and ass? <laughs> 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 I was like, You're the best person. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, the thing is, I feel like if I keep going back, then I will be that. I'm like, you, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I can see that. <laughs> like old ladies in the I gotta be spots, just old ladies in the back row. The yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like that's night. my man. <laughs> just this fake money. It's so sad. It's even sadder with fake money. Hey, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good show. I saw that you guys used a slightly different dance move with me. <laughs> <laughs> If you really stretched it out this time. I'm guessing you wore the low rise jeans because you know I like them. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Let I me want help you to get through typing school, sweetie. <laughs> I want you to get a punk school. <laughs> For your birthday, I'm just going to get you a punch card for Magic Mike. Please. Yeah. Uh, they have you. one. Like, hey, Lindsay. I know what they can punch. Oh, that's not what. <laughs> I know what you meant. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else we got? Smash Mouth, I guess. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't fucking wait for Smash I can wait. I can wait, but I'm going to. Never, I've never seen them live, and they legitimately. You've never seen them I've live? I've never seen Smash Mouth live. I've seen them, like, multiple times. Really? At, like, farm, like. Fairs? Like yeah, farm fairs. The timing, <laughs> the timing is just no. Like never they would always up. be next to the petting zoo. That's why it's like a. Farm that's yeah. usually where they are. I feel like that's where I've always seen the Beach Boys. I think I yeah, just retweeted them recently. Um, no, I like. I it's never lined up. They literally they were in Vegas at the same time that I was for punk rock bowling last weekend, <laughs> and they were playing in the Stratosphere, which was like a mile away from us. But I was like, you know, had shows and stuff, and I was like, so you like legit. Uh, I'm, like this I'm is a band you're like wanting to see. This I'm is like, like a life goal being achieved right. today. It, ironically, now, but they legitimately used to be one of my favorite bands. Their right, first right. album is very good. It's like a good pop punk album. I like me and John Michael Bond were yelling about it in, in Las Vegas. Like, <laughs> Bush You Mag is great. <laughs> it's really fun. I don't know. They really fell off the off the. I mean, why the not? Segment. You know, yeah, exactly. And Jen Goldberg just saw them and said that they were like a legitimately good, just like good band to watch. Like they're funny and get it. So. I don't know. I just I feel like I need to see them live at least once, and it's just never happened. Sure. And I mostly just need to like. Check, and we're check professionals it off. Yeah. getting yeah. a press yeah. pass. Yeah. Yeah. But like, yeah. I will say from my experience, like they are aware of who they are now. Yes. But they also know that like people like their songs make people happy. Yeah. So they're like you get into like this like frenzy of like I'm having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for that yeah. Saturday afternoon. Yeah. It's, it's like Magic gifts. Mike, but like a different part. Right. Yeah. I'm not going to be turned on in yeah. any way. Well, you just, just Steve Harwell's chin strap beard isn't going to do it for you. <laughs> uh, is that still happening? Are people it was still chin strapping? Some states. He's probably, yeah. <laughs> it's on yeah. the books in some places. He's the, probably still got it. I feel the, like Long Beach would accept the chin strap. That's yeah, true. Absolutely. Long Beach is a chin strap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Hermosa Beach is like the goatee. It's the shitty know. goatee. Yeah. Yeah. Hermosa yeah. Beach is like a eight o'clock shadow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mutton chop? 
Yeah. Well, no, it's just like really, it's like not quite stubble, but more. And it's like they keep mm-hmm. it maintained that at that exact length somehow <laughs> yeah. all the time. Yeah, like they're trimming it by hand and it's <laughs> right. to look that scruffy. <laughs> we were at Har- what Harley Quinn Comedy was last night, and um, it was so funny because Amy Miller was talking to this one guy in the audience that had a mustache and a soul patch, mm. and um, his girlfriend, and she was like, so, how's your... How's your how's your girlfriend like your face right now? And the girlfriend just goes, I like the mustache, I hate the goatee. Yeah. 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 And then the guy just goes, oh, it's my face's anchor. Ew. <laughs> that gross. Was it was so funny. And then Amy was just like, shave it. We just the whole and then every other comic was just like, no. You gotta cut it off, dude. You gotta cut it off. I feel like that was a long time of bargaining chip. It was like you can have the mustache, but I can have the patch. Yeah, yeah. Right, Has right. Anybody, do ladies want the stash? I cannot stand the stash. Not, not usually. It's very rare. I like the yeah. look of a stash in in theory, but not in practice. Yeah, that's how I feel about Sean a mustache. Sean did Movember a yeah. few years ago, and I, I think I made it. I mean, Sean yeah. has such a cop face. Yeah, he gets really happy. Yeah. Yeah. My boyfriend's yeah. very copy. So, like with a mustache, I was like, I just feel like I, you scare me. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely gets a little freaky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess the right if you've got like a Burt, uh, Burt Reynolds, Burt no. Reynolds, no. yeah, Burt Reynolds, Burt Reynolds. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's Tom Selleck. Yeah. They're the same person, but, but they, yeah, yes. yeah. But if you, if you can grow like that full, like good one, I like to like Dan Gill used to have a great mustache. He did, have and a it looked mustache. great on it looked great on his face. Wouldn't want to shave it off if I want to kiss you though. You know? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't, I don't want to like, I don't want to deal with it on a face. But, but why I, I is a really beard like, great then? See, I love beard. It's confusing. Yeah. Mm. I don't mind facial hair when I'm kissing. To me, it's more of the visual. Yeah. Yeah. Why but do I'm beards make to... men look manly? I don't understand. Well, because it's just like, it's just hair. Yeah, I have so much testosterone. I'm growing hair out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't stop. It's so manly. It's just coming out. <laughs> <laughs> it is hot though. That's another thing is I've gotten older. I prefer beards. Like I don't like beards as much as I was. Yeah. Before. I've always been a beard. I've been yeah. pre pre the fad, post the fad. Yeah. Just not clean shaved. Are we post beard? No, but I mean, you know, it was like a big, was, I feel like it was yeah. bigger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like a, cr- a clean cropped beard. I mean, I like yeah, you don't want some nasty. Beard. No, no one wants no, no, nasty no. beard. Nasty pube yeah, shit. Don't get Jim Carrey. Yeah, <laughs> no. Jim Carrey's got, it's like a really bad one right now. It and it's really hard to deal with. <laughs> He's making some bad choices. I'm sorry, Brandy. <laughs> yeah. It's really, it. it's really difficult <laughs> as, as somebody that, uh, you know, is really as somebody. somebody who has defended him for a long time. He's not really an all star right now. <laughs> oh, uh, you know what? He took that mask off, and just... <laughs> <laughs> that's what was under the uh, the beard was under there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. right, wow. Uh, so now Jim Carrey yeah. references for two episodes. <laughs> episodes. We'll be back. <laughs> Stop tugging at your bra straps and second-guessing your size and put fit first with 3rd Love. 3rd Love uses women's real measurements to create bras that fit better in sizes AA through G, as well as their exclusive half-cup sizes. Just answer a few simple questions online and 3rd Love will recommend the right bra for you. Try one of 3rd Love's 24-7 bras free for 30 days. Just pay $2.99 for shipping. If it isn't your new favorite bra, return or exchange it for free. Go to thirdlove.com slash lady now. That's thirdlove.com slash lady. Hey, welcome back to Lady to Lady. I'm Brandy. I'm Bab. I'm Tess. And we're Sam Barella. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sam, do you remember MySpace? Yes. Were you big on MySpace? I was not like, I wasn't a big persona, but I had a podcast at the time. It would be fucked so up if comics. you were a MySpace celebrity and we like didn't know until right now. And you're but like, you oh. had a podcast? So you had a podcast before a lot yeah. of people in. Yeah. I had, an early, I had an early podcast and so many comics were accessible only through MySpace. <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> that's mainly what I used it for. Yeah. Is it still online? Are those interviews still up anywhere? Yeah, I think you can still look. It's Naked Comedy. I think it's still on iTunes if you look it up. Yeah. Okay. What's it called? Naked, Naked, Naked Comedy. Comedy. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. It's just the interviews because the show was like a radio show that I did at oh, college. Oh, I see. But yeah, I think like I remember like Paul F. Tompkins and Brody were people that like I had interviews with and then they were like running late and I had to like find them on MySpace and be like, I hope you read this. Uh. <laughs> so funny well we're gonna do one of those quizzes you know those quizzes everybody put in like the bulletins bulletins. and be like Mm -hmm. this is i'll get to know me a little bit better yeah yeah. i got a myspace it'll put a smile on your face now it's time for the myspace quiz quiz beautiful Uh, was that a heart 
Yeah. Wow. Sam Hickman. Shout out, girl. I forgot about the re the redos. Yeah. 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 Our yeah. covers cover. are awesome. Some sweet covers. We love them. <laughs> okay, so these are just random stupid questions. Let's see. Favorite band at the moment? At the moment? Oh. Uh, I feel like I go, I have like three music quadrants that I'm either in. So it's mm-hmm. either like, and it's, I've just started making like Spotify playlists. So it's either like 60s Motown. Mm-hmm. I don't have bands, I just have genres. Yeah. And then like NSYNC, Britney Spears, classics only. Yeah. <laughs> and then like a weird like Coldplay, Eiffel 65, The Cure. Oh, oh. all right. Okay. I don't necessarily <laughs> put all those three together. No, no, they're very like, I live very like segmented. Lives. I can right. get down with all of those <laughs> yeah. for sure. No, Motown's definitely my go-to like Sunday morning. Oh, that's yeah. a good Sunday morning. You know. Sam Cook. Yeah. yeah, he's great. Yes. I just uh, rewatched Dream Girls recently. Mm. Oh fuck! Nice. Yeah, and like it's just so it's a really interesting story. Yeah, just like yeah, I need to rewatch it. How is it time. like watching it now that you know the Bay? Um, I mean, I knew the Bay the first time I saw it. Yeah, <laughs> I was an early Bay adopter. Yeah, but so now you can see like your, <laughs> which your the, the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the story is. Uh, there's yeah. some good parallels between her and Daniel. I think Jimmy Pardo got cut out of Dream Girls. Oh, sorry. What? Yeah, no, I think he shot something for. He was. Like, he does be... seem like that era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he. I think he got cut out of that. I might be right. I might be right. <laughs> I just remember Eddie Pepitone got cut out of the Muppets movie. Oh yeah, Aww. he's such a Muppet. I went to go watch it because of that, and then at the end, I was like, "Wait, I just watched Jason Sudeikis for like an hour." <laughs> <laughs> There's worse ways to spend a Sunday. That's true. Yeah. Do you know? I remember reading that like after that that uh that movie. Wait, Sudeikis is the one that was also in How I Met Your Mother, right? No. Siegel. 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 Jason Siegel. Well, apparently, Siegel. like, anyone can fuck. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. I'm not yeah. fucking. I know, so hot, right? But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do know. I think, I know somebody who almost had the chance. I think Lampy almost had the yeah, chance. Yeah, I feel too. like I know, like, four yeah. girls who have either slept with or almost slept with Jason Siegel. Yeah. yeah. No. Apparently, he has his Muppet from the Muppet movies, like, in his living room. Mm-hmm. Right. And he'll, like, talk to you with the Muppet. Ah! Okay. Before, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, that's in forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah. I think he's got some like puppeteering interest. Oh, yeah, in the bedroom. Yeah, yeah. That we know of. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, we know. Uh, yeah, for now. He's a bedroom <laughs> Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are speedos hot? I mean, I feel like. Like a weekend or two ago, I had a pool party day with Mateo in a speedo, and like you have to appreciate that kind of beauty. I mean, yeah, yeah. he's gorgeous, but that's like an outlying yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah. I just I'm not I'm not in enough beaches with like saturation. You know, mm-hmm. I've been in a normal beach and a nude beach, but not like a speedo beach, so I can't really trunks. Can't trunks aren't very. Ad- Attractive though. I like a no. short. Not, I like a short trunk. I like yeah, short, really I like long ones trunk. are ugly. Like those seventies so short shorts. Yeah, yeah. 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 Those, Seven, that's the man, all guys like, should be wearing the seventy shorts. Like yes. the seventies yes. men were Absolutely. like, I have legs too. And yeah, because then you can see like there are like hamstrings and stuff. Like the mm-hmm. trunks cut off at such a weird length. Yeah, yeah. there's like old. It's OPs. just like skater shit. Yeah, but they're not wearing a shirt. I don't know. It's just not quite right. Yeah, yeah. Or I think also the problem is like you know, as you guys know, like it's so important. We, uh, it's three inches of fabric, but we put so much thought into like, yes. work. and guys yes. are just like, oh, it's swimming trunks, great. Yeah, yeah. And no, it's so <laughs> fucking annoying. Like a bathing yeah. suit purchase. I mean, yeah. that could take you years to find the Absolutely. right one. And yep. then these guys are just like, oh yeah, some cargo shorts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think that the enough, enough care is not being given to trunk selection. Absolutely. If I had to guess. <laughs> <laughs> Just a hunch. Yeah. <laughs> I want a fun and festive print on a short pant. That's yeah. what I want. That's what I'm what looking that for. The short in, like, shorts. The early thousands. Like I know for girls it was Roxy, but what was like the boy equivalent? Wasn't it O'Neill? Yeah, I feel like that was or a good era. Yeah, Quicksilver. Quicksilver. That was like Quicksilver, a good era yeah. for boys. I still but like that was that boys. Look. I don't know about how men were at the time. <laughs> <laughs> it was like old like vintage OP OP shorts. We don't know what men were I doing. I think the dads in Pasadena Whole Foods are still wearing Quicksilver. Ooh. Yeah, I look like old surfers. Yeah. That's why I need, I'm like a rich old surfer. Yeah. 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 Please. All right. He only has sand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, Sam, what do you think of reality TV? I love it. But I have fallen out of love with it. Like, mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not as, I, like, I don't watch it as regularly. But I've always been a big proponent. All Like I said earlier, all the VH1 shows, right. uh, the classic, like, what is it, Rock of Love, Flavor mm. of Love, all that stuff. The Bravo uh, I need to get into Real House. Almost. I need, but it's like it's. I feel like I'm so far gone. Well, it was my New Year's resolution, and I haven't started yet to watch I, them. I will. I, I will say to. the best one, Atlanta. Any season That's what I hear. doesn't matter. Any season, okay. Atlanta. Okay. 
Yeah. Let's just start with like some later Atlanta. Yeah. Well, I feel yeah. like if you just drop in, that would be, be fine. I think we'll get caught up pretty fast. Okay. okay. Yeah. I feel like when uh, I feel like when Portia is whatever season when Portia arrived is like a good restart. Like you oh, can like okay. get into it well. She has like a real like they really have to explain her character. So okay. it's a good like starter. But yeah, I feel like I could get into some of that shit. They it's yeah. just that like you just really appreciate how much shade they can throw. Like they are like what like you will get so many one liners from them. They're just the the best writers. And is this like that's what I'm saying? Is this like are people actually living these lives or is it is it all like written? Like is this actually I, people living this dramatic of like existences together? I think they are. Yeah, I mean yeah. I know that in New York, like I, I was gonna do a show with Julie Klausner and she was gonna have the Countess on and she was like she's just she is that person. Like right. she's just this fabulous New York Manhattanite that sleeps with everybody and doesn't care. I just like, like how do people be I wanna be like that. I have no I don't have it in within me to like create like that. I think if you didn't have to worry about money. Yeah. You're yeah. more free to that. That's yeah. true. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. Money. It really frees up your time for drama. That yeah. is yeah. very yeah. true. And like the, one, the people that are always like the reasonable ones are like the poorer of the group. Oh. <laughs> the status symbol. It totally is. Yes. I always forget. Yeah, of course. Yes. Of course. There's like a great, in, in Atlanta, there's a great thing of two people warring over whose mansion is better as they build them. Like, yes. oh my God. I remember I fell in love with the housewives because I've watched like episodes here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was a flight where I watched like a bunch of, I think it was Beverly Hills. Um, you'll probably know about this but where they got the mini horses yes and I was like this is so fucking ludicrous <laughs> like these women are acting like it's a totally normal thing to have mini but they didn't horses. get them right wasn't that the whole thing the episode I watched the mini horses were dropped off at their house and these ladies were just like oh my god they're so <laughs> cute I'm crying well I think there was a follow up episode where they were like the mini horse got sick and had to go back are you <laughs> serious <laughs> Yeah, that's the whole thing. Aww, <laughs> poor mini horse. But it was like, yeah, if a mini horse gets sick, like Lisa Vanderpump cannot take care of it. No. It has to go no. back to work. <laughs> Don't seem like the most nurturing people. <laughs> no. They like to pet swans. Like, that's the kind of people. Wow. And swans are mean. Yeah. No. Yeah, nasty animals. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> that's what money does. No, I agree, though. I love, I love reality TV. I think it's an art. I mean, these are definitely artists that are making these stories. <laughs> Um, it's fun to watch it's plus crazy. I love that Unreal show that added another that is a great oh, show too. I agree because that's part of my fascination with The Bachelor is like the mechanism that's the only it. reason I'm watching it now yeah it's fascinating yeah because it's like I think because we live I mean we live in this world where obviously like it's what's fake what's real and like yeah. that The Bachelor just encapsulates that more than anything because you don't know where the line is yeah because I think they do get so psychologically manipulated that they really do think they're in love with these people yeah but it's obviously yeah. Like, you're just watching like a weird social experiment. Yeah. yeah, but then it's also super scripted. Yeah, but do you feel like that it hurts just society as a whole? Like reality TV has it like made us worse? I mean, it's not like we have like a megalomaniac who was a reality TV star who just got <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think I think yes. I think probably yeah. yes. But yeah. it's like. Uh, you know, I, mean, I, I don't I know if we were going to go down the tubes with or without that, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, because I also think like there's something to it's also kind of there's so much variety in reality TV and mm -hmm. like documentaries have been around for a really long time. And, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Docu-series, I guess, is different. Definitely. That's different. Yeah. yeah, I guess it's more for yeah. me, like so much of it is like it equates like being rich with being important. Yeah, in a mm. way that like if that's the message that like that is definitely tough getting. to get past. Yeah, yeah. the housewife shows. You mean it's definitely no, I like, think with a lot of them. a lot of them. Some with like them. with like a you know Paris Hilton's shit. Oh yeah, that yeah. Stuff. <laughs> that <show. laughs> yeah. But to me, I think the Paris Hilton show. Um, what was that called? The Simple Life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that show to me, they were the joke. Like the joke yeah. was right. Yeah, they were, right. I don't think that they were really. Like, but they the still got to be famous there just for that, being rich. Yeah, there was and I think that that's era. you know a lot of people get that message. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's so many our, shows now. That, yeah, it changes like was, the goal to what we want to be. I was actually yeah. just rewatching The Girls Next Door because as a kid I was like so fascinated with them mm -hmm. and I didn't really know why. And then rewatching it, I was like, oh yeah, this is like a weird combination of like feminism and hard like misogyny and like consumerism but also like they're coming from these like the women are coming from these lives that are nothing to like than having status like there's so many right. like levels to it until they got rid of the first three and then you're like oh just Hefner's a gross old man <laughs> <laughs> you know like, what straight up I saw Hugh Hefner making out with two of the girls next door at Paris Hilton's <laughs> album release party <laughs> In the height of Paris Hilton. Wow. Yeah, that I was a nice I forgot you had. went to that. Yeah, and then because my ex worked in the music industry. And like, so we were leaving the club, and Paris Hilton actually stepped on my toe while she was <laughs> running away from the paparazzi. That is the most fucking serious. <laughs> what is that, like 2009? 
Um, seven? Maybe like six That is seven. like a yeah. bleach blonde wow. tan 2000 girls dream. <laughs> it was a great night. That is such a specific moment in time. <laughs> it was a great night. After I saw Hugh making out with the girls, Paris got on stage and she was like, all right, thank you guys so much for being here. I just want to say that my sister Nikki and I are the hottest bitches here. What? <laughs> yes. Uh, was Nikki was great. cool or did she just like let her sister talk? Like I could I think never she just tell. Let her sister talk. Yeah. I think Paris was just the brains. Nikki always just seemed like she was just kind of like, all right. Yeah. She's yeah. a long I'll ride. Take, I'll take the money. Yeah. 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 I wonder if my if my sister's in Nikki or if I am. I don't know. She's definitely the Mary Kate. <laughs> 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 I'm an Ashley bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Caitlyn. What? They have like another sister. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Ashley. Rachel. No, 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 no. Wait, the, the actress. One. The younger one. Um, she's like the indie actress. Oh yeah. my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the youngest Olsen. It is like Elizabeth. Caitlyn. Elizabeth. Right? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. That's it. I'm Elizabeth. Okay, that joke didn't work because I remember I just her name. typed the other Olsen into Google <laughs> and Elizabeth Olsen comes. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> and she's the only one who acts. I know. I know. <laughs> Oh my god! What, what would that be like though? Like, because talking about being rich, like, there's like, yeah, Hilton, your family gave you money, rich, but like, what if, like, you just knew that you worked so hard as a child, and this is all your money? Like, what kind of rich would that be? I think it would like, be fabulous. I think it'd be pretty great. I, I just feel like there's a reason they don't. You mean worked as a child? I just mean like, like there's no, re- there's not oh, really right. a lot of reality shows about child actors, and it just makes me wonder what that rich is like. Yeah, like it's, it's their not, reality has got to be so bizarre. Too. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> it's a small population because a lot of them fuck up and blow all their money. But then yeah. you have the Olsons who just kept it together, and now they just go to Fashion Week. Yeah, we were looking up the um the kids from Step by Step the other night just <laughs> oh. to be like, where are these kids now? Well, I know Cody's like a piece of shit or yeah, something. Yeah, he's cool. a real, real piece of shit. And the the oh, youngest kid. Event. The youngest kid, oh, I wonder if this is the same article I was looking at before. There's one, it, it, the, whatever article I was looking at was like the youngest kid was like, he stopped acting in television and now he works at Renaissance Festival. <laughs> oh my God. And that makes, like, that tracks, that tracks. Yeah. yeah, it makes total sense. Oh, the guy that plays JT on Step by Step, he, um, he got, he got into like a, <laughs> what? yeah, he got, he was like leaving a set and he got into a trap, like a road rage incident. Oh no. And he got shot in both arms. Oh no. <laughs> So he like left the show and now he like works at his parents' gas station in Torrance now. Oh, yeah. what do you mean? That's what happens to most of us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's, I guess they yeah. should get shot in the arm. Both arms. <laughs> yeah, not, not, not both the arms. They had to mention the rage part because otherwise you'd be like, "What does this have to do with the shot in the two arms?" Yeah, yeah I just remember going through it and being like, "Oh my god, step by step, what happened to everybody?" God. I loved that show. That was my low that was key. A good one. That song gets in my head all the time. But you know, it always bug me in the credits that they photoshopped the ocean to look like it was outside of Colossus when that's clearly the parking lot of Magic Mountain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does always look weird. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I think that was low key my favorite tjf show oh yeah step by step. yeah i like i did like, like step, step i liked step. teen angel for the one season it was on yeah mm-hmm. I, liked, I, I liked family matters yeah family matters was, was growing good pains too. in that mix uh it was a little bit before for oh growing pains was disney speaking mm. of growing pains i just had an epiphany last night about um <laughs> about wait family wait, ties oh family oh, okay. ties. i just realized last night that the parents on family ties are supposed to be hippies because I was raised by hippies that when right. I was watching that show as a kid, I was like, this is a show about and a yeah, And it's so funny, <laughs> Michael J. Fox is like a, a conservative. Yeah, my whole life, I just thought it was a show about a normal family with an asshole kid. I think I thought that too. I don't think I realized it either, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, the whole conceit of the show was completely lost on me. Because I was like, that's what my house looks like. Wait, so, so, so Clarissa was just a new family ties. Clarissa? Because Clarissa was the same thing. They had the little brother Ferguson that was like the weird yeah. Republican. Oh, and yeah. his family was hippies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Sam came in did through you, the window. Did you guys always want a friend that would come through the window? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I just thought that was really cool. Yeah. yeah. I just and wanted my own room like that. I always yeah, liked her clothes her a lot, was, too. Her clothes were great. Her clothes, and I always liked, um, from the Babysitter's Club, Claudia. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, yes. I would, like, remember, like, writing down descriptions in books and being like, okay, these are things to think about. That's when you yeah. first started to, like, think about Doc Martens. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. You're like, which Your one Your flower was growing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here's a good question. Do you cry at weddings? Uh... I don't know. I feel like I cry in general. So. <laughs> I have very like uncontrollable, like not, not like I'm sobbing all the time, but like when I cry, I'm not really like in charge of it. it right. Like the cry chooses it just comes me. out. Yeah. 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 yeah, I got yeah. You. So I guess yes, but not 
It's not, not that doesn't different. doesn't have to do with the wedding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's Saturday, so you're crying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. I feel like I do, but I can't really. I haven't been to a ton. Uh, I, like I speeches, do, maybe. and I can't control it. And like, if he's <laughs> one, I don't know. I don't really. Yeah, anyone, it any wedding. Of, as yeah. soon as they walk down the aisle, vows like, are like. Yeah. You yeah. Know. It depends on how personal it is. Like, if you go impersonal weddings, never get me. But if it's one that I can tell that, like, oh, this is who this couple yeah. is. Right. Yeah, right. 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 I'm just very receptive to like situations set up to make you cry. Like in yeah. movies, like mm-hmm. this, the moment they become sensitive, I'm sobbing, and it's like mm. we haven't even gotten to the sad part yet. <laughs> like yeah. I just yeah. I foresee what's gonna happen, and it starts happening. Dumb movies like, make you cry a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Like dumb the movies, make dumb movies that have like a sad moment mm-hmm. that comes out of nowhere. Like dramas that are like tear jerkers generally don't right. get me. But a movie that has like I've been like laughing and then there's like a sad thing that happens and I'm like what? <laughs> <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy two made me cry. I was like, expecting that. Uh, I haven't seen it. There's like something towards the end when those parents that like oh uh, yeah. It, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah that got me and i was yeah. just like this has been such a fun film okay yeah. i mean it wasn't like upset about it but i like wasn't well, expecting did you i teared up a little in the bodyguard yeah <laughs> did you ever <laughs> did you watch... teared up yeah yeah yeah. i think i did <laughs> did you watch that show powerless that was on recently mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then, like, the punches? punches was on yeah. yeah but like it was a very like disney-esque show so every show had like the arc of like the sad moment and i was yeah. like this show should not be making me cry but it was so like yeah. ingrained in me the formula that <laughs> Just start happening. I know it's weird how manipulative that formula feels. Yeah. Um, Fuller House does not make me cry. I will say. <laughs> no, because I'm too busy just staring. They already from made us cry the in the past. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I know your games now, Full House. Yeah. I know. I know Jeff Franklin. I know what you can create. How dare you? You know, movie used to make me cry the fuck up my eyes out when I was a kid was mm-hmm. E.T. Oh, oh my yeah. god. E.T. Yeah. I mean like messy snotty cries every time I watched uh, it. Homeward Bound for me. Um, yeah, that one's. Oh god, when they shadow Ooh. shadow. Mr. Oh, Holland's right. Opus. Yeah. Yes. Holland's <laughs> Opus. <laughs> that was a guarantee. Yes. Beautiful, 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 beautiful call. call. <laughs> okay, BRB. <laughs> We are back. I'm Tess. I'm Barbara. I'm Brandy. And we're Sam. Hi. Yeah. Want to help us give some advice? Sure. Great. Good so morning, fun. San Francisco. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll read this, this one. This comes okay. from Jonathan in New Jersey. Yes. Jonathan in New Jersey. Hey, ladies. I'm writing to tell you about a minor issue in a great relationship. I've been dating my girlfriend for two months, and everything has been great, except for one thing. I keep calling her by my ex's name. What? I'm totally over my ex. We broke up eight months ago, but it's just been a force of habit since this is my first relationship since the last one. Most of the time I catch myself before I say it, and the times I have slipped up, I've played it off. My ex's name is Emily, so when I say M, I play it off like I said, um. (laughs) How do I mentally forget my girlfriend's last girlfriend's name and say my new girlfriend's name, which is Jessica? (laughs) (laughs) Aw, Jonathan and Jessica. It's always just like, um, Jess. Um, Jess. Just I mean, I don't bum, know bum. if there's any way to get over that. Like, I don't know if yeah. there's some weird, me- is like there some weird hypnosis kind of he can? Yeah, I mean, I've struggled with this as well. Names are tricky for me in general. Yeah. Uh, so, like, I, I don't know if that's just like a brain thing, but like, I, because I, I think when you ha- when you have this issue, it kind of like compound itself because you become paranoid about it, which makes you like kind of more You're overthinking it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I've definitely called, almost called my current boyfriend by my ex's name before for the same reason. Um, how have I dealt with it? I think. Maybe it's almost like I think it might help to like visualize the text of her name, like as you're saying, like look, the like, think girls. about, yeah, think about yeah. the current girl, and like as you're thinking about her, write her name in your brain, mm. like do a lot of like visual, or yeah. maybe just like the first letter, since the first letters are different. Yeah, you think this is why there's all those brain game apps because people have stuff like this where like I guess yeah. my brain's not working fast enough. It's just, it's not even that. It's just like, it's just an old habit, you know? Yeah. So. yeah. Well, it's like whenever I'm around another dog, I always call my, I call all dogs my dog's name. Yeah. Yeah. Know? And not that boyfriends are dogs. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it is that like you, it's like the, this feeling triggers this name in my head. Yeah. So it's like hard just to get past Oh that yeah. Moment. Like I've almost, I've almost said like, 
like honey or something to like my mom or like you know what I mean yeah, like yeah, yeah like I've been like talking a, to my boyfriend and like accidentally could not call him mom but the same sentiment well, you remember know? like that yeah. embarrassing thing of when you were a kid of when you call your teacher mom yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you ever say all right bye I love you to somebody on the phone yes <laughs> yeah it just comes out yeah you know, like on automatic like, yeah so it is like it's hard to know how to deal with it because it's kind of just like a synapse issue that's mm-hmm. why I feel like it's like a, a re- like a creaky brain you know what I mean like that's mm-hmm. why yeah. those games maybe are like better at like re I don't know I just feel like the, the descriptions for those are always like rewire your brain and this feels yeah. like a rewiring I will say I haven't done anything close to that in like a very very long time so I do think like at, as you kind the of like distance s- the longer you're with this person I think your brain does adjust yeah. itself yeah. maybe like have a little funny song about her in your head or something <laughs> yeah you know like <laughs> something that's so weird I mean that's so weird but I'm trying to think of like something that would like be catchy to make you Jessica Jessica problem yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's hard. I mean, it's funny because this sometimes still happens to me, but it always used to be a thing with me and my best friend where she could tell I liked a guy if, if I forgot his name. Because oh. I would start talking about him and I would just blank. <laughs> so it was like a weird like tell. You oh, know? interesting. Yeah, so I'm not that it's anything to do with this, but hmm. I, our brains are just weird. Yeah. You can't yeah. predict. It's funny that's happened a few times, though. It's like... Mm-hmm. Maybe say And her- she hasn't noticed, so that's good. I know, but God, hopefully. Maybe just like... L- it's funny. I'm assuming this is not happening in bed, but it would be funny to be like, uh, um, um. Do you still do that thing? Like, well, most of you are in relationships, but like, do you do that thing where like, if you're into a guy, you're like, does his name sound okay if you say it during sex? <laughs> no, I don't like saying names during sex. I feel like it's weird. <laughs> I do. I have definitely yeah. that thing of like, could I date a blank? Yeah, yeah. 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 Like yeah. when you go through the list, that's one of them. It's like, how awkward is this going to sound? Yeah. I'm like, it w- I don't think for me it would ever be a deal breaker, but it is like a, oh, so it's going to be me and Snarls? Yeah. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Sorry, Ralph. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Ralph know. is such a bad one. Everyone yeah. stop naming your, I mean, I hope we don't have any listeners who name their kid Ralph. Yeah, I think sorry. Ralph. I could be with Ralph. Ralph. Babs and Ralph. It's not that bad. Yeah, Ralphie. Babs, Ralphie. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't want Ralphie. Ralph. Ralph. Ralphie. Ralph. 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 Ralphie and Barbie. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Ralphie and Auntie Barbie. Or Auntie. <laughs> they're, the, they're the ones that go to the magic mic every week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Auntie Barbie's for sure going to be. <laughs> yeah, for <in> sure. <laughs> Maybe it's when you're in these situations and you feel yourself like being very relaxed, like you start. Like you consciously say that say your yeah. name to start a conversation in the moment. That way it is. Oh, that's like, not a bad idea. I yeah. A, yeah, I have a question for the ones in relationships. Should he tell her mm-hmm. to try to get no. her to help? No, him? no. No. no, no. I think unless it comes out <laughs> yeah. once, if it comes out once and be like, "Oh my god, I'm sorry," but, but would it don't. be better to like have it happen? Or to have him be like, look, I feel like I've been having this problem and I don't know. No. Because no, 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 no. that, that makes it bigger. That makes it bigger than it yeah, is. Yeah. And so like, yeah. that's going to set. And really, there's also yeah, a good yeah, chance yeah. he's never going to do it again. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. you want to set yourself yeah. up for that. Yeah. Put a little rubber band on your wrist. <laughs> and <then laughs> and snap. Yeah. That's what it's there for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't worry about it. Yeah. I think going out of your way to say her name extra is probably also a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that weird, though? Because you never say the person's name who you're with unless you're like being like across the unless room. They're in trouble. Or unless. Yeah. Like the two ways they say Sean are like Sean, yeah, like Sean, (laughs) yeah, (laughs) Brenda, yeah, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Sean, yeah, (laughs) and here's my list. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) would it be easier to just switch to like babe or something, like something that could apply in general? Yeah, (laughs) yeah, that's true. That might work. You yeah, try babe. Throw a babe out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You gotta have at least one generic pet name. Well, babe, what do you want to do tonight? <laughs> babe. A babe. <laughs> I don't know if Jonathan's a babe type. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, well, we solved that one. Let's read the next one. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hey, ladies. My name is Michelle. I'm 29, and I've got a lady problem. So I'm divorced and currently in a relationship with a really cute and smart guy who I am enamored with. We just moved to Salt Lake City. Shout out to Barbara. What's up? And I'm not sure how to deal with our relationship anymore. To give you some backstory, I initially left my deadbeat husband for my current boyfriend. I realize that makes me sound terrible. No, it doesn't. Um, But I was super unhappy in my relationship and found someone willing to explore life with me and jumped at the chance. I still love him, but I've always been a chubby nerd and I left the comfort of Florida and my friends and the beach for him. I don't know how to act. He's a fit, outdoorsy, adventurous person, which is the norm here, and I'm a cute but chubby girl with an autoimmune disease that hinders me from fully enjoying the outdoors. I also suffer from severe anxiety and depression, and I keep thinking he's going to leave me for his fit, hot co-workers who are interested in rock climbing and hiking and are all physically capable. He did once try to kick, hide in indoor rock climbing 
plan with another girl from work from me because he mm. knew I wouldn't be thrilled with him going out of his way to be friends with the girl from work. My question is, am I being too insecure to be worried about him bonding so much with a hot coworker, or what should I do? I'm an adult and I'm way too insecure for this. Thanks for the hard hitting truth. I love you guys. Ooh, uh, hey. this is tough. Cause it's like, I, I, first of all, I will say I completely know how you feel. Mm-hmm. Um, cause my insecurity, it's like, I feel like I'm 33 and I should be over it, but I'm not, it's, it's a really big part of my life still. And it's really, really hard to get over. Yeah. Even after losing weight, I still am super insecure. So it's that stuff doesn't go away. It doesn't, it's not like, you know, your body is not like what defines that mm-hmm. part of you. Um, so I get it, and I want to say I sympathize with you because that's a tough to bis- position to be in. And I have a bunch of injuries and stuff, so I definitely identify with the like feeling like e- it's not even like losing weight would make it better. It's like I'm just fundamentally different than this person. Totally, yeah. I would wonder she can't if, do the same shit. Yeah, I would wonder if, if like they kind of talked about it before she moved out because I know I go to some like groups for for pain and stuff like that and a lot of times it's like you know you you do need to like have that conversation because Mm -hmm. it just kind of gets worse the longer you wait to like deal with it right and what's that conversation it's just kind of like you know the reality of my life is like you know there might be days i can't get out of bed there might be days that you know i need you to go get the groceries or something or like you know what i mean like yeah how much does he know about about what's going on with him like yeah how much like you know are you gonna get mad if i'm like can you do this thing that like is you know like run a bath for me or something like that kind of stuff where it's like Mm -hmm. would normally be maybe romantic but like now you're asking for it so it's like like (laughs) yeah and i think the, the the thing here is our are you upset because he's going out with those hot coworkers or are you upset because he tried to hide it from you? Mm-hmm. You know, like those yeah. are two very different things, I think. Yeah. And and was he hiding it from you? What what are, what are his motives behind well, it? I mean, it, it sounds because like he it's, knew that she would be Yeah. yeah, yeah. It yeah. sounds yeah. like she's got some insecurity stuff to deal with. I do yes. think I'm like a really big proponent of of platonic relationships and I think yeah. that it's important for men to especially men to be friends with women. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, really I think important. I trust men more who are friends with women yeah because to me that shows that you're not objectifying every single fucking vagina yeah. that crosses right, your way right yeah. Yeah. So maybe think of it more in that way of like this is someone who's like just like has mm-hmm. a shared interest with this person and like you're yeah. enamored with him mm-hmm. yeah. you say and he's he, great you moved out yeah with he guy. obviously like, wants to be with you yeah. I mean, yeah. he's, he picked you you know yeah. he's living with mm-hmm. you i mean hot people are gonna be out there and like this is something that just sucks is like Hot people are hot people and they're always going to be out there and like guys can't help it. Like they, you know, it's almost like this like thing you just have to accept. Like they're stupid caveman brains. Like, yeah, they're going to look at our boobs for a second. Yeah. Whatever. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean anything. Plus like maybe just focus on the stuff that you do share Mm -hmm. together. Like he maybe needs the outlet for his sports but like, what do you guys do together? Yeah, Absolutely. totally. Yeah, and like, yeah. what can you be doing? I'm sure there's things that you're interested in that he's not interested in. So, what can you mm-hmm. be doing during those times that like that's your t- like free time to do shit that he's not into? Yeah, yeah. And I want to make sure that like you're also making friends in a new city too. Yeah. You know, like he's got a job that's like social, and he's hanging out with coworkers. Like, I don't know what you do for a living, but like, are you also? creating a friend group that is a part of his life too but like I want to make sure that you're not just you know waiting he is your only lifeline to a social life yeah because yes. separately yeah. you like separate from the relationship you did just move almost cross country yeah and like there is a rebuilding that has to happen mm-hmm. and like you start out alone but you definitely shouldn't be like this is my one guy and then go from there yeah. you just need to be like I'm here let's make a new life and that takes a little bit of time. But yeah, you have to start working on that. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, maybe like, you know, go out with him and his coworkers for stuff that isn't rock climbing. Like, I'm sure there's still... I was going to say, yeah. yeah, find something like... I think it... Because then, like, they're also not these, like, other people. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah, and it's not all... You know, and I know... I get the other people thing where you're like, oh, this hot girl. And that's all that they are to you. And then yeah. they're just this, like, siren that's calling them or something. she's probably, like, really yeah. cool. And, like, yeah. Yeah. You know, just, like, have lunch with her. You'll, like, that'll be more like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Tell her I say hi. This yeah. kind of makes know? me think of, like, what it, like, is like to be a normal person dating a comic. Mm-hmm. Like, I yeah. feel like it's very similar because, like, that's a life that, like, you're not, you're just not going to be a part of in the way that other people are going to be a part of it. Mm-hmm. And you have to, on some level, be either okay with that or not. Like, mm-hmm. it's just a part of that person. Mm-hmm. I can also see this, like, I, I, I'm curious if you're in, like, therapy of any kind for dealing with the breakup that you just had that was, you know, a long time. Because you say here... Uh, I was super unhappy in my relationship and found someone willing to explore life with me and jumped at the chance. So maybe you're feeling insecure that you're not exploring life further. You know, you know what I mean? Like I could see you feeling like 
being insecure about that. Like, oh shit, now I've become that person in the relationship. Yeah, it sounds like you're being very hard on yourself. Yeah, about yeah. a lot of this. Yeah, yeah, I mean, she says it makes her sound terrible that she left an asshole. No, yeah. that doesn't no. make you sound terrible. It makes you sound strong and rational. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. a lot of but, people would have stayed in that forever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been in a ton of bad relationships. So I also understand. <laughs> I'm like, this is me. I wrote in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, like it. There is also that like. There's like a refractory period after a relationship like that that can last, you know, for years if you don't kind of address it. Because yeah. if you're with somebody that's in any way like mm-hmm. manipulative or controlling, mm-hmm. it really does rewire your brain. So yeah. whatever that guy is doing to remember his girlfriend's name, try doing that to rewire your brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And it's like the grooves of relationships get deep and you don't realize like, they, oh, this this is just what I think things are and like. And it's not like you're a damaged person because that no. happened to you. No, it's no, just like we're no. creatures of habit. So if you're habitually getting put down, mm-hmm. you will continue to put yourself down because that's what feels normal. And exactly. you have to work yourself out of that cycle. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's really not used to being in this healthy thing at all. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I would definitely say if you're not uh, in therapy yet, go be just to try and work through some of this stuff of your own. Cause group therapy also is good to like meet mm-hmm. people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. go to group therapy, meet some p- new people. So like, I think you wrote on the Facebook group and I'm going to um, respond to you about getting about the comedy scene there and getting into some improv and stuff. But yeah. uh, And if you aren't the one that wrote, somebody else just wrote it. Yeah, someone else. I yeah, think I'm assuming think it it's the you. same girl. But um, yeah, on our Facebook group, Lady to Lady podcast, I'm going to, you know, give her some advice about places to go out and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, don't treat it. It's like you don't have to go on a freaking rock climbing to enjoy it. Like that is the nice thing about Salt Lake. And I, I don't know what, you know, your autoimmune disease is. But, like, you can go on a nice walk in, like, the park, and yeah. it's not, like, you know, it's not, like, crazy, and it's really nice out, and just kind of enjoy being outside. It doesn't have to be this, like, epic journey or something, you know? Yeah, exactly. I'm sure he would love to do that with you, too. There's yeah. also, like, if you can't go outdoors, because if you have lupus or something, sometimes the sun, you could, like, you know, go to, like, a zoo or something, or go to, like, mm-hmm. a aquarium. Like, something where it's, like, you're around nature and stuff like that, yeah. but you can also have, like, an umbrella or, like, get inside. Cl- like, totally. You right. You know, right. what's that really cool, like, hot springs place that's, like, an hour outside Ooh. of Salt Lake? There's one, I can't remember where it is, but, yeah, there's just, like, cool thing where you go inside a crater and you can Whoa. go, yeah. yeah, you sit inside the water. Yeah, there. that's really cool. And yeah, look that up, but th- I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, but yeah. But also, I mean, I mean, I don't know, moving for someone... Is a big step. I don't know how long you were with this guy before you decided to do this. Mm-hmm. You did it, so you're there. But like, I would also operate under like, don't let this guy be your everything. No, you've yeah. got Absolutely. to build a life Absolutely. for yourself outside yeah. of him. Like, yeah. Well, that's just good. I think she was asking about doing stuff to make yeah. to like make friends and yeah and stuff like that. But yeah, go and mm-hmm. it's it's hard. I thought I was. You know, I thought I was ready for something for like a relationship. And then I realized I had all this insecurity shit that was coming up when I was trying to date. And it's really hard to deal with that and not put it on your partner. So that is something you have to like Mm -hmm. start trying to work on in yourself and and valuing yourself and not like putting it on him because... It's a lot for both of you. You know, neither of you should have to deal with that. Yeah. And like stay in touch because I moved a bunch as a kid and I stopped staying in touch with people. Mm-hmm. But like staying in touch with people just like reminds you that you're not this place. You're not this man. You're mm-hmm. like a f- you have a life of your own, mm-hmm. which yeah. sometimes you can forget when you leave it. Yes. to go yeah. Somewhere else. Yeah. Call up your friends back home. Like, don't be scared to do that stuff. I forget that all the time. And then I'll call one of my best friends and be like, oh, I feel so much better yeah. just from talking to them for mm-hmm. like five minutes. You Absolutely. know, Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And like ask him not to to ask him to talk through stuff like, you know, if he's going out and like going to go, you know, rock climbing with somebody like, hey, if you hide things from me, I don't know any like you don't know anybody there. He's your lifeline currently. Right. And if he's hiding stuff from you, then what do you know about the world that you were living in? That that just adds to insecurity. Yeah. So like honesty will always be the best policy and you guys can talk about that stuff. He yeah. Just, he, he, I know he, he thinks, I know he thinks he's probably doing it for your own good, but like, yeah, make sure he knows what headspace you're in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, all this time, <laughs> this is all great advice, but I'm like, who the, I mean, it's yeah, just hard well, to, let's, be, let's give the realistic advice. Uh, realistic <laughs> advice is when you're jealous about this girl, mm-hmm. take a breath, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. and when he leaves jerk off to Channing Tatum yeah and also and don't and I know the anxiety makes it really hard but just try your best to be honest with him and like if yeah. you start a little bit it's gonna feel better yeah. the more yeah. you do it exactly and if that means you need to like write out some stuff ahead of time to like understand okay these are the things I want to say before my anxiety like kicks in and like makes me forget everything like and the beginning is always the worst part when you're trying to like be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Say something like that. It's just like, just, just kind of do it mm-hmm. and start and you'll feel better. Yeah. And yeah, I'll send you some fun stuff. So like yeah. stuff your way. 
Salt Lake City. <laughs> Salt Lake City will be coming soon. That's a Beach Boys song. Thank nice. you so much. Ooh. Yeah, they, they wrote a song about Salt Lake. There's no beaches in Salt Lake. <laughs> <laughs> Just the ones I went to high school with. Uh, oh. Bitches. Okay, right? Huh? Still mad about the presidency. <laughs> yep. She'll never get over it. She'll be 80 years old. Yes. I'll still be mad. <laughs> Sam, thanks for doing the show. Thanks for having We're, me. What's yeah. your social stuff everybody can find you on? Um, I do. I produce a bunch of shows. Uh, I guess Naked Comedy on Instagram, Naked underscore Comedy on Twitter. Uh, I think NC Productions on Facebook. But if you look up Naked Comedy, it'll come up. Um, yeah, I do picture this with Brandy mm-hmm. every month in LA and New York and San Francisco and then random festivals. Yeah. And I do a mon- Monday weekly show, The Business, long time show that they let me help out on now which is great um that's a great show great Echo people Park. yeah mm-hmm. and i think that's the main recurring stuff yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. cool thanks for being on the show thanks for having me all right bye guys bye. 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 can't get enough of us subscribe to our patreon for exclusive bonus content access to our first 100 episodes and more go to patreon.com slash lady to lady now to sign up as little as a dollar a month keeps a roof over the glam cave and keeps you laughing, even when your coworkers stare. That's patreon.com slash lady to lady. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter and Instagram at lady to lady comedy. Join our Facebook group, Lady to Lady Podcasts, to chat with other fans about episodes or even post your own lady problems. Check out our website, ladytoladycomedy.com, for show notes, videos, and merch. And duh, follow our individual accounts, Babs Gray, Brand Dazzle, and Testify Barker for jokes and info and where you can see us perform live. And if you want to send us snacks, stickers, or a lock of your own hair, I don't know, whatever, our P.O. Box is 412-794, Los Angeles, California, 90041. And please, leave us a review on iTunes, but only if you like us. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.